It is officially official. Kyrie, you are now the newest member of the Boston Celtics. Mm -hmm. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. And uh, we know what it's kind of been like for the media, also the fan base, this uh, kind of being a circus of, of going back and forth. Mm -hmm. And if, in fact, the deal was going to get done, uh, what was it like for you uh, during this waiting period in this process? Uh, I was just very patient, uh, waiting for it to officially go through, or if it was um, at one point. Um, so I was, I was in Atlanta um, just with my family and friends and trying to figure out what would what was going to happen and transpire, but now that we're officially here and I could officially call myself a Boston <laughs> Celtic, um, it, it feels amazing and I'm glad that I'm here in such a, a great place of uh, not only fans, but just great individuals. Um, it feels like I was just meant to be here, so it feels absolutely amazing. Now, I want to give you some credit because when, when this whole thing started, Obviously, you did this quietly. You did it behind closed doors yes, sir. when you requested the trade. I, I, it did leak out at some point or another. Mm -hmm. um, but I do want to ask you, on the initial list that was leaked out, mm -hmm. the Celtics weren't necessarily on there, but mm -hmm. at least that we heard publicly. But you seem so excited to be here. So can you just <laughs> explain that juxtaposition of, of like, now you're here yeah. and you're in a great situation, just how excited you are, but you know, at that initial stage, the Celtics weren't necessarily in there. Uh, well, it. Uh, I didn't say anything at all after. Um, you know, I uh, did it as professional as possible. Um, because and I congratulations on that, because that's not always how oh, it happens. I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I think as we all know, as existing in the workplace and having the, the confidentiality of going to your 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 employer and having a conversation like, okay, I think that I want to move in another direction, um, regardless of the years on the contract and stuff like that. And um, my intent was the same. It was to go into an environment that I feel like I can maximize potential. You guys will hear that mm -hmm, a lot, but mm -hmm. and ultimately being happy. Um, the game is something that I appreciate um, very deeply, and I wanted to protect that. And uh, in order to do so, I felt like it was uh, about my time to, to go into a new direction, and the Celtics were literally um, the dark horse in the running. Mm -hmm. And it just came to fruition out of a week span where I, I had gotten a call where I was like, okay, there's a chance where I actually can be a Boston Celtic. I relished in that opportunity. I was like, we got to get this done. You look back at, at your playing days and the Cavs have been the only team that you have played for. Now mm -hmm. coming to a new team, um, just maybe how you're closing one chapter and opening a new one. We know that you're very excited to mm -hmm. be here and, and maybe just um, this process for you. Uh, well, it's new. It's new. Um, good thing we all have multiple volumes of books in our lives that were, were being written. So um, constantly, constantly, moment to moment. So uh, it's new. I'm ready to experience it. Ready to be with the. Like, it's crazy that we, you guys, we have four guys that were from the Eastern yeah. Conference Finals last year. So think about those guys and the impact they'll make in terms of the experience they have as as a group. And then it extends throughout the whole entire group. And then we all build our own identity. And then we exist in the already built crazy culture that the Celtics has and then you add a, some special talent and individuals and you got something special so I can't wait to do that. In, in the book that you're writing with the Celtics here all the different words a lot of them are young a little bit different than mm -hmm. the team that you were with in Cleveland I, I believe last year you were the oldest team in the league not you but yeah, the team I was in the general. second youngest on the team. Yeah and, <laughs> and you come here and this is the third youngest team in the league you got a couple of number three picks in the last two years who are in a slightly different situation than you were when you were a rookie mm -hmm. but how, do you, how are you going to make that work, and what's the biggest challenge of getting a young team to be ready to compete for a title? Because that's, as we know, that's the goal here in Boston. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We have a few young guys, and the season is 82 games. That's a lot of freaking games. <laughs> and, a little different than college, and, right? and, yeah. when, and I have just a unique experience of being with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and we went to the last three finals, so we're playing 10 months out of the year, mm -hmm. three years straight. So... You can't lose focus of what the primary goal is. Um, and there are going to be some times where guys are going to come in and, you know, it's just going to be a, a crap day. And then there are going to be other days where it's going to be a really exciting day. And that's just the wave of being in a, a work environment for everyone. So um, it's just how you respond and how close-knit you are and how truthful you are to one another. Man, I don't, I don't want to be around anybody that's not going to be truthful mm -hmm. with me all the time, no matter if they're having a good day or, good day or bad day. It's just that I don't want the misunderstanding that I have your best intentions at all times. So regardless of how you're feeling, I still have your best intentions. I'm your teammate. I'm your brother. That's it.
What words example? Of wisdom. Yes. <laughs> Wise words of wisdom. What example would you maybe want to set for your new teammates, either on the court, and also in the locker room? Um, man, it's pretty simple. Uh, know the goal, know your intent, and live in truth, and perfect your craft. I, you got to really, 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 really fall in love with perfecting your craft, and I think that uh, my teammates will definitely uh, see that, and they'll they'll do it themselves. Um, as well as we, as we learn from one another, um, but our work habits, um, as we sacrifice our time from our families and traveling around. You guys travel with us? Yep. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So you think about that time and getting to know other people and new people and you're around each other every single day and we're sacrificing that, we better make it the best time freaking yeah. possible. <laughs> it better be fun. It's got to be. Cause it's going to be fun. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be fun. We gotta Something make it tells me this season will be fun. <laughs>